is not just about people with MD or DOA after their name. It's any healthcare profession, right? Because they're all dealing with the same issues. So I, it, I totally right. agree with that, and I think we should make that clear. This is a a healthcare professional platform. It's yes. not just a doctor platform. Hey, Arlen, I was just going to um, uh, just make a comment here. So, you know, you brought you brought up s several themes. And I think what's very important to think of is the, the, the medical student example you gave is why are these medical students making those decisions? Why are those the competitive specialties? So medical students in the competitive specialties will change depending on actually market trends, right, and compensation, these sorts of things. Medical students are not just thinking about boards, they're thinking about boards in order to get to a, a specialty that gives them financial freedom. This is on their minds. I don't think people are joining neurosurgery, ENT, plastics, derm, just because of, you know, that's what they want to do. I think that's, you know, kind of a, um, an optimistic way of thinking of medical students. Medical students right now, psychiatry is becoming super competitive because of reimbursement and market trends in psychiatry, while previously it wasn't as. So, I, but I think big picture, when we think of value proposition, I think of all elements in healthcare, in all among all healthcare providers, there's a general angst. There's very poor access to investment or other kind of business side of medicine. So a lot of us, you know, the, when we ask why do most why do most physicians not invest? Most physicians don't know about certain types of investment opportunities that may be available to them. The barrier to investment might be too high. There's lack of cohesion. There's very there's difficulty in deal vetting, seeing what a good opportunity is. But we have this group of physicians and healthcare providers with an incredible amount of talent and just fortitude that's been demonstrated not just on on exams and whatnot, but just from the the true grit. You know, you want to figure something out as a physician. You do even if you don't if you've never treated a disease before. You do the research. You are committed to it. You find a solution. So what's interesting about this community, and I think what the value proposition here is, you give ease of access to investments to healthcare providers. You give access to uh, um, uh, idea just sharing among physicians and healthcare providers, perhaps, to be able to vet deals, to be able to share knowledge, to be able to look at things, and to, to have this opportunity to come together to protect, perhaps invest in something. So I might not know about an opportunity in Texas in some sort of dermatology uh, practice that needs funds to secure a medical office building. But maybe here in Minneapolis, I can get involved in that. Maybe I don't need to put a million dollars up front towards their, towards their uh, equity to get their loan. Maybe I could put in $1,000. Maybe that'll give more access to people to get involved in an investment. There's a lot of other things. You talk about the medical students that have $250,000 in debt. Why? Who are they going to get their loan from? They're going to a big bank to get a loan from, right? Or maybe maybe the, those that are lucky are getting government uh, government loans, but many others are going to big banks to to get their educational loans. How about if there was a different route that they could get their educational loans? Maybe something subsidized by this huge collective of physicians, people that do have money that can perhaps give those loans to those medical students at lower rates, and also be have a feeling that they're giving back to their community of physicians. There's a lot of examples like this, whether it's mortgage loans, why do we go to the likes of Laurel Road? Why can't physicians with the equity that the physicians have uh, kind of finance all of that? You know, so we have, we're all going to banks to finance these opportunities. We're getting, you know, low grade investments. Banks are eating up all the, you know, the, the top investment opportunities and we're getting scraps. I think there's general angst about all of that among physicians that we're that someone's making money off of us. We're always getting screwed basically at the end of it. Someone else, some banker is making the money off of us and we're just getting whatever trickles down. And I think the, the interesting thing about this is that we can use our collective energy and it's very compatible with the Dow structure, but the collective energy and focusing on the collective one is kind of what younger generations especially are kind of moving towards this idea of community building, uh, um, uh, kind of uh, grassroots sorts of financing for things. And we can use that, we can, we can combine our knowledge, combine the just total numbers and invest that in things that we all care about. Uh, you know, and the reason that this is 
that I see this very compatible with the DAO structure is then it can then be everyone feels like they're an equal partner or they have incentive to be to be involved. And it's also it just this non hierarchy sort of system that I think is very will, will be very popular uh, with physicians kind of moving forward. So I think that's the value proposition. The summary of the value proposition here is that this is a community that can finance itself, that can share knowledge and share opportunities. And throughout all of this, it just increases access with a very low overhead.